Hi. In this video, let's solve this problem. Previous video, we have already solved problems which is exact and then reducible to exact. Uh, now, the general format is mdx plus ndy is equal to 0. In the place of m, I have this function. So, m is equal to um, y into 2xy plus 1. And then n is equal to minus x. So, uh, please be careful with this negative sign. Now, what we will do? Step 1, the usual verification del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. Is this equal? Is my first question. So, uh, we will just find del m by del y. For that uh, easy calculation, this let me simplify this as 2x y square plus y. So, it is easy. So, when I say del m by del y, then it means we are integrating with respect to y alone, which means 2 is a constant, x is a constant. So, del m by del y is equal to 2x into y square differentiation is 2y plus 1. So, whatever we have circled here, this is just a constant we are differentiating with respect to. Similarly, del n by del x, minus x differentiation is minus 1 over. So, we didn't even simplify and check. This is not equal. Del m by del y is not equal to del n by del x. So, uh, your step 1 itself, you have identified that it is not in exact. Now, what we are going to do? We have to make it exact. For that, we have to find integrating factor. To find the integrating factor, we will find the difference del m by del y minus del m by del x. So, this is 4xy. 2 2s are 4, right? 4xy plus 1. Minus, minus 1. Second term is already minus 1. So, if you simplify this, 4xy plus 1 plus 1. This is 4xy plus 2. Now we are going to check whether it is close to m or close to n. If you see this 4xy plus 2. Is this close to m or n? It is near to m only. Because uh, if you see m. What is your m? 4, uh, sorry, uh, 2xy square plus y. Correct. So, this value is close to m. So, what we will do? 1 by m into del m by del y minus del n by del x. Um, step 3. This is near m identification is 1. Again, to find the uh, integrating factor only, we are working on it. 1 by m into del m by del y minus del n by del x. The difference that we got, shall it uh, take two common so that this will become 2xy plus 1. Okay. From this term, 2 into, if I take common, 2xy plus 1. Same way, from m, which term if I take common, this will be similar to the numerator. Your m, if I take y common, what I will get? 2xy plus 1. So, I am taking y common so that I can cancel this term. Always close to m or close to n. There is only one reason so that it will get cancelled and simplified. Now, we got this 1 by m into del m by del y minus del n by del x is 2 by y. Remember, this is a function of y alone. Your g of y is equal to 2y, y. Now your g of y is ready. Now your step 4 is to find the integrating factor. What is the integrating factor? It is nothing but e power minus integral g of y dy. So this is nothing but e power and remember if it is last problem we did, it is close to n when we did, automatically it will be a function of x alone. If it is close to n, it will be a function of x alone. Then in your integrating factor, this negative sign won't be there. 
uh, integral f of x dx will come. So close to m and close to n are different. Refer the previous video if you have any confusions regarding this. Minus integral 2 by y dy. Now uh, this 2 let it be as it is. 1 by y integration is log y. And always remember e power log of something is something. Right? We will write that function. So your integrating factor is e power log y power minus 2. Let me write e power log always. Then I can write the leftover term as it is. e power log of any term is that term itself. So now we got the integrating factor y power minus 2 I can write it as 1 by y square. Now your step 5 is you have to multiply your integrating factor to the new m and new n. Okay. So step 5. Multiply integrating factor to new m and n. Now, uh, to old m and n to get new. Uh, what was your old m after multiplying uh, y into 2xy plus 1 is your old one. Now, into y, one more, uh, into 1 by y square, again we will multiply. So, 1y and this y will get cancelled. And your new m is nothing but 2xy plus 1 by y. Let me uh, split this term 2xy by y plus 1 by y. This y and this y will get cancelled. So your new m is 2x uh, plus 1 by y. Let it be. Similarly, we are going to find new n. Okay. So your old n was only minus x. Correct. So your new n is minus x by y square because we are going to multiply with the integrating factor into 1 by y square. So it is obviously minus x by y square. Now we are going to use only the new m and the new n not the old one here. Just to check whether your problem is right or wrong. Step 6 is Again, you verify whether it is your step 6. Verify del m by del y is equal to del n by del x or not. If it is correct, then your answer is right. From this step, let me write. What is del m by del y with respect to y? So, first term is a constant, 0. 1 by y if I integrate, minus 1 by y square. Let it be. Now del n by del x, 1 by y square is a constant and minus x if you differentiate minus 1. So both minus 1 by y square, so it is equal or not I am cutting it, which means it is exact. Now you got that it is exact, now we have to use only the exact function formula. Your exact function formula, your solution is integral m dx plus integral n of y dy n of y dy is equal to a constant c this is a formula integral now we are going to use new m and new n okay so new m is 2x plus 1 by y and here is your new uh, n right uh, minus x by y square. These are all single term. So there is no pure function of y. Again I repeat. When I will write pure function of y means. If my question is minus x plus 1 by y square means. This fellow will be the pure function of y. I can write in this n of y as 1 by y square. But here the case is multiplication. So there is no pure function of y here. So in this problem also it happened to be 0. Which is good for us. Otherwise. Uh, no, one more integration we have to do. Now, 2 into x if I integrate x square by 2 plus 1 by y into x is equal to c. This 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. Uh, x square plus x by y is equal to c is a solution, which implies 
x square plus x by y is equal to c is the solution. So always remember if it is close to m it's a different case and if it's close to n it's a different case. This is a direct problem but I have taken this just to show you that how pure function of y will be there. So the first term is m and the second term is n x plus 2 y plus 1 and there is no issue since we have only plus okay so uh, del m by del y with respect to y so x is a constant 0 y uh, in differentiation is 1 del n by del x x differentiation is 1 the other two is a constant so del m by del y is equal to del n by del x which implies it is exact exact means directly i'm writing that uh, without writing the formula formula is just now I gave integral m dx m is 2x plus y plus 1 dx plus integral n of y dy if you see pure function of y means this 2y and I can include the constants also so here I will write 2y plus 1 this is how if you get uh, uh, n of y function now this is easy with respect to x means you will integrate other things are constant so what you can do is if you are getting confused with the basic concept you can write 2x in uh, 2 into integral of x dx plus y into integral of dx because y is a constant i mean integrating with respect to x only x terms should be there inside plus integral dx okay here i am integrating with respect to y so only 2 i will throw it outside y dy plus integral dy is equal to c now it is easy for us to integrate don't get confused that whether i have to throw this term here don't write y square by 2 here because this y i am integrating with respect to x so this y is a constant that is why we are writing outside the integration so 2 into x square by 2 2 and 2 will get cancelled plus y into integral of dx is x plus again integral of dx is x plus 2 into this is y dy so i can integrate y square by 2 dy integration is y is equal to c so your answer is x square plus y square uh, and then xy plus x um, again one more y is there plus y is equal to c is the solution so this example i took it just to tell you that how you have to take n pure function of n and you are taking the constant also so please be careful when you are taking the n term here ah, here you are taking both not only 2y okay so practice more problems and when you are partially differentiating keep this in mind with respect to x means i will differentiate x terms alone with respect to y means I will differentiate only y term so that the other things are just a constant. Whether it's a number, for example, this 2 and x both are treated same because it's a function of y. So both are constant for me. 2x is just a number, same as 1. Whatever I have circled is just a constant. So if I differentiate, it will get 0. Y differentiation is 1 since we are differentiating with respect to y. So if you keep this in mind constantly, you won't get any silly mistakes. Thank you.